3.2.4 Hyatt limiting reagents. So when you do a chemical reaction, it's common to use an excess of one of the reactants to make sure the other one is completely used up. Um, the reactant that runs out is called the limiting factor and that limits the amount of product that's formed. So if you have one of the reactants that runs out, you know how much product you're going to get based on the moles of that reactant that's been used up. So an example, if I took 10 grams of copper oxide and reacted it with 0.1 moles of sulfuric acid. You've done this reaction, you made those blue copper sulfate crystals, that's what you had going on here. And when you did this experiment, you put a spatula in, stirred it to it, reacted, then added another one. And you added it until copper oxide was in excess. So let's have a look at the numbers. 10 grams of copper oxide reacting with 0.1 moles of sulfuric acid. Which is in excess and which is the limiting factor? Well, we know how many moles of sulfuric acid we've got. It says 0.1 moles. So now we need to work out how many moles of copper oxide we've used. So the relative formula mass of copper oxide. Copper is 63.5 and oxygen is 16. The formula is CuO, so it's one of each atom. And it's got a relative formula mass of... 79.5. So we need to know the mass, which is 10 grams divided by the relative formula mass, 79.5, gives us 0.13 moles of copper oxide. So we need to look at the equation. Is it a one-to-one -one reaction? Yes, it is. One mole of copper oxide reacts fully with one mole of sulfuric acid. So we have 0.13 moles of copper oxide and only 0.1 moles of sulfuric acid. So our copper oxide is in excess. Let's look at a displacement reaction. Say we've got 12 grams of magnesium reacting with 22.8 grams of iron sulfate. So magnesium is more reactive than iron, so it displaces it. And we look at the equation, it's a one-to-one -one reaction. So one mole of magnesium reacts with one mole of iron sulfate. So all we need to know is how many moles of magnesium we have how many moles of iron sulfate we have, and we can work out which one's in excess. So for the magnesium, we have 12 grams. The relative atomic mass of magnesium is 24. So 12 divided by 24 is 0.5 moles. We've got 0.5 moles of magnesium. Iron sulfate, the relative uh, atomic mass of iron is 56, sulfur is 32, and oxygen is 16, but there's four atoms of oxygen. So add those all up, 56 plus 32 plus 14 lots of, uh, six, sorry, four lots of 16 equals 152. So the relative formula mass of iron sulfate is 152. So we need to work out how many moles we've got. 22.8 grams is the mass divided by 152 gives us 0.15 moles of iron sulfate. So we have 0.5 moles of magnesium reacting with 0.15 moles of iron sulfate. Magnesium is in excess and iron sulfate is the limiting factor. That means the amount of product will be based on the amount of iron sulfate used because it is the limiting factor.